Hi everyone, welcome. We're down here in my wormery and we're on the lookout for a couple systems that have the start date of October 15th. And one of them is over here where I keep my cocoon nurseries. Cocoon nurseries are just a whole bunch of finished worm castings that probably have cocoons mixed into them. The material has already been evacuated so there's no adult worms in there. The adult worms are doing their work over in my regular composting bins. So the, um, the worms that were removed from that finished compost on the 15th of October have been relocated into this um, pretty much everyday composting system. It was 37 days ago and the system has already received um, a handful of feedings already. So we're going to give it um, a little refresher, make sure that the food supplies in there are holding up after eight days since we checked in here last. Kind of an interesting system. It's where we're running a lasagna arrangement. So if you don't know what that is, stick around. We're going to get to that in a moment. So let me put on a glove and we'll get to work. All right. So that so-called lasagna arrangement I made reference to earlier. It's um that's what's going on in the the other bin where the worms are. This is just the cocoon nursery. And the only thing I like to do in here, as long as I'm checking on the uh, the worms that came out of this material, I figure let me use that as a chance to check in on the material itself. Make sure it's not overly dry, or make sure anything's nothing weird's going on in it. After 37 days, I'd like to think that there might be some baby worms in here. Last time we did pretty carefully go through this stuff, hoping we might spot some baby worms, but we didn't. What we did do last time, though, was to... Uh, kind of dampen the material. We sprayed the stuff down. So I think I'm going to do the same. I always worry that by doing so that the next time I come in the stuff's going to be a big muddy mess. But it seems like it's absorbing and handling the moisture enhancement pretty well. So I'm going to just stick to that and try to maintain an environment here that's worm friendly. Hopefully spurring on the uh, hatching of the cocoons that I assume are in this material. The material does still seem a little bit dry. I mean, not terribly dry, but maybe a little drier than it needs to be. And it sure would be nice to see a baby worm or two, but, you know, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Okay, that should do it. Let's put this away and proceed to the feeding of the worms. Okay, how was this set up? I think this might have been it, like so. Okay. Alright. It's a little bit larger container. But I think we can kind of squeeze it all into the frame. So the lasagna setup was two feedings ago. Originally started out with maybe three or four sheets of cardboard with different types of food introduced at different layers. The initial setup consisted of plums. Was it? Yeah, okay, plums. A tomato. <laughs> And banana, I think is what it was. Last time we were in here, when we replenished the lasagna arrangement, we reused all the existing sheets of cardboard, and then in went a fresh load of food, which consisted of, I think, coffee and pumpkin. And that's exactly what they're getting today as well. What do we got here? A whole bunch of paper. A lot of moisture collecting all over the place. The worm's coming out for it. These little guys are taking advantage of the moisture over here. Oops. Try not to tear up the paper to see if I can maximize its lifespan, see how much use I can get out of a single sheet of paper before it falls apart into little pieces. I wonder if these little three guys will stay put inside this piece of paper if we just fold it over for them. I hope so. 
trying to evict all these little guys from every chunk of material I'm trying to set aside to get it out of our way is a pain. Hopefully they sit, they stay put over there. So the middle is kind of mounded up. It's where the lasagna would be. Oh, okay, here we go. Top layer. More of just sort of a covering, I guess. Holding up pretty good. It was 12 days between the first and second check-ins after the origination of the lasagna arrangement. This most recent interval was eight days since we were here. I guess here I must have just taken a chunk of pumpkin where there's a little bit of skin of it left and oh, maybe even a little part of the fruit. This coffee filter would have had this coffee right here in it. Evidently piled on top of more pumpkin bits. So there's a little bit of leftover in here. Let's see if we can get to the next cardboard layer. Let's see what the next layer looks like. Here too, I'm trying to be careful not to tear these sheets of cardboard. This one's totally coming apart, delaminating. The separate layers are pretty much separate at this point. The worms really like that glue that holds this stuff together. So I think it's a real starchy type glue. The worms see as, I guess, almost like a sugar, sugary substance to eat. This looks like a little bit more coffee blended in with more fruit. It's just a chunk of leftover fruit down here, pretty vivid orange chunk of something. Maybe it's just the skin, all the meaty part of the pumpkin's been nibbled away, it seems. And we have maybe another layer. Oh, this one's pretty trashed. Where's the other piece of it? <laughs> all kinds of coffee bits all over it. The stem of a pumpkin right there. Let's see what we can make of this. Oh, maybe this is the other piece of it. <laughs> No, oh, no, this is a coffee filter. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff down in here. Maybe this very lowest layer of the lasagna is taking the most punishment. Because there's got to still be a whole sheet of cardboard. There's another banana stem. That would have gone onto here, I think. Nope, is that what we see here? Or is this an entire other sheet of cardboard? It might be the other piece of it. I don't know how this all got into this arrangement. I thought I did a better job keeping individual items as a single reusable object. <laughs> so down here there's more food. Huh, how far down does this thing go? Aha, uh -huh, there's one more layer. <laughs> I guess I wasn't remembering correctly. That's one, two, three. This will be a fourth cardboard layer. All layers holding up well enough, if you ask me, to be reused. And there's a lot of moisture down here. Wow. I guess all those layers prevent the moisture from getting through, I'm sure. So there's all kinds of fun going on down here. This is where we're going to reconstruct our lasagna. I wonder if we can expand its area. Maybe if I create a larger opening. We don't have to go so many layers deep. Maybe we just have a couple layers where we go side by side. And this way there's a little space in between that they could sneak through if they want. But then we could start introducing uh, some of this recycled food back down into the hole. Get all these chunks of pumpkin what remains of it. Not much though. Some of this is uh, piles of worms. More leftover chunks of food I believe. Gotta leave some room for the new stuff, right? Here we have more coffee which is not very surprising. <laughs> as well as more pumpkin. So this pumpkin that I had was huge. And I've got a couple days worth of coffee filters here too. So this will also be kind of like a major 
injection of additional bedding type carbon rich food maybe the fact that it's going in here dry like this these pieces of paper is a good thing because there is a lot of moisture down here perhaps what might even be considered um excessive almost it's like kind of a little overly damp almost but i don't know maybe not maybe it's just my imagination i think we'll drop in a couple of these chunks of thawed pumpkin that i had wrung out all the moisture and this tray was almost full of moisture full of liquid from having done that and i use that stuff to uh, i dump it into my little supply of pre-made bedding so it kind of helps um nourish the microscopic life that lives in there what's this another leftover piece of coffee filter we're going to have this one over here too. <laughs> Lots of coffee filters. No 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 need to even go for my um my nice pre-made bedding concoction cuz all this coffee I'm giving them comes with nice bedding material and carbon rich food stuff built right in. It's right there enclosing the stuff. Also got a little bit of um, crushed eggshell we can sprinkle on here as a little top coat. A little something to aid in the digestion of the little wormies. Oh, still some coffee in here. Let's get the last of it spread in before we cover up. Maybe we can use this as an opportunity to just take a peek over on the edge of the bin. Feeling down, everything seems nice and damp and cool down there. There's a good amount of bedding out here too. Not a lot of worm action. I'm hoping that's just because they're all drawn to the excitement of having a whole bunch of food over there. I mean, there's, there's a worm or two over here, I see. So we've got a couple. Maybe we can take some of this stuff that we excavated and begin covering up over here. We'll do the same. That should get us enough material to submerge our feeding. Stuff seems similar over here, not bad. There's actually more worms hanging over on this side of it, for whatever reason. Maybe it is a little bit more damp somehow, I guess, to the touch. It does feel a little bit more moist. That's probably got a lot to um, do with why we're seeing a couple extra worms in this stuff over here, on this side. Yeah. Here too, a good number of worms mixed in. Very cool. For only being a little bit over a month old, the system seems to be doing quite nicely. Naturally, there is a lot of bedding material everywhere you, everywhere you look. There's stuff that probably goes right back to the day I built this bin for them. It'll take time for that stuff to all break down. So this is pretty much par for the course when, when you're talking about a 37-day-old worm bin. So we're going to start putting things back here. You know, here's a piece of um, <laughs> coffee filter, the before and after picture, right? We could have easily used this as just supplemental bedding down in the feeding area since we've got a nice replacement feeding zone indicator. Let's just get that thing submerged a little bit. Maybe we'll get a little bit of attention down there from the uh, worm traffic that the food's going to create. And we can start covering up. What else do we have here? A couple... Hey, how many worms do we have left on this thing? One, two, three. Almost in the same exact locations that we left them earlier. See that? They weren't disturbed in the least bit by us coming in here to check in on them. That's cool. <laughs> All right. What else do we have here? Pretty damp um, piece of paper. Very damp. Probably very fragile, too. Let's see if I can drape it over the top here without causing too much damage to it in the process very cool here's a worm hanging out enjoying the moisture try to have these low impact check-ins all right everyone that's it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did as always please remember to leave me a thumbs up that's always really appreciated 
And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel too. That's really appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching.